<sighs> Guys. I tell you, camera trapping is so up and down that I never, yeah, you never know what to expect. And so coming in today to check it once again, and uh, I've not looked at the camera, but I just checked the trail camera I always check it first I don't know why I just always do and I hadn't had much hopes uh, just because the foxes hadn't crossed the um, the dam as much as I was you know wanting them to and let's just say that after having a camera in here for almost three months A bobcat walked across the dam. What's going on guys? Neil Jernigan here. Coming in. Checking the camera trap today. Uh, came in here last week and got the good foxes uh, the good pictures of the foxes going across the dam so I'm hopeful we'll have that again um, gonna probably move the camera from that location that it's in and bringing it back to the original location to have the dam running parallel but we'll see kind of depends on what's on this camera trap today so um, who knows it could be good enough I may want to leave it um, or I may want to take it and move it to this tree so let's get in here see what we got and who knows? We'll see what happens. Thank you. 
a bobcat walked across the dam. And when I first saw it, he was going down the dam. And I was, the flash never fired. I was like, no, please tell me I got a picture of this bobcat. And again, I've not looked at the camera. But so I backed up one more video. And as he began to walk across the dam, um, I saw the flash fire. So the camera took a picture of something. And I'm, I'm ooh. <laughs> guys, I'm telling you. I am addicted just to the the thought of a bobcat. I don't know why, but they fascinate me so much. And I've not seen a bobcat on trail camera in well over a year. And they're here. They are here. It's just they they don't like to come in front of my cameras. So I'm gonna go over here and look uh, at the back of my camera, and we'll see if I got it and I know a lot of people laugh at me laugh at my reaction um, <laughs> but I'm not lying folks it, I it this I love camera traffic uh, it is yeah, I, I love it right now I'll probably go check my camera in a second I'll, I'll tell you the opposite I hate it <laughs> it's definitely a love-hate relationship all right so without further ado let's just Let's just see if we got him. The, the flash fired, so something happened. I'm so nervous. So nervous. All right, I gotta, I gotta film my reaction here. I gotta figure out how to do this. Let's see if everything's working. Oh, look at that. Flash's batteries are dead. Whew, came in here at a good time. So the flash batteries are dead, which makes me wonder, <laughs> was uh, did all of them fire when the cat came across? That's all too familiar, isn't it? <sighs> all right, folks, here we go. Here we go. Thank you, Lord. A bobcat crossing the beaver dam. That's what I've been wanting. Got another fox. Got another great picture of a fox. Good attention. This is what I'm after. Looks like I got a tail end of a coyote too. That's cool. <sighs> Guys, I'm telling you, this is a love-hate relationship, but I am so addicted to this stuff. Camera trapping. Oh man, it is just something else. Whew. Okay. I've calmed down now. <laughs> I'm so pumped. Yes! So I was coming in here today to um, ultimately to change the camera uh, composition back to where the beaver dam was splitting the frame. Uh, and I'm still going to do that. Um, I got a couple good pictures. I got the bobcat, which is what I was after. That was the holy grail of this setup, but I didn't think I'd get one because I hadn't seen any sign. But I got the bobcat, and I also got another good picture of a gray fox uh, crossing right here. I actually got good contact, eye contact uh, with the camera. So I'm happy with 
um, the images that I've gotten. So I'm going to move it back over here to this tree and get the beaver dam splitting the frame and see if we can get some good shots of the animals crossing the dam uh, parallel to the camera, which is what I originally set up for. So I am so ec ecstatic. <laughs> Ooh, man, I'm so, so happy. So uh, I'm going to update the flash batteries and everything, get all the batteries swapped, get them good to go, and I'm going to move the camera back over there and um, I'll show you the setup in just a second. Alright, so I got everything moved over. Um, I had the camera originally over here. So as the animals would walk towards the camera, they'd be really close. So I've moved it back to the original location here. So the dam is running parallel to the camera. And what I've done is I moved one flash um, off of the tree and I actually placed it right down here. That's actually, oops, I actually placed it right behind the dam. So it's on the back side and I got it angled up. And so when something walks across the dam, it's going to create a rim light. So it'll help uh, get some separation between the subject and the background. And so that should uh, light up the edge of the animal nicely. Um, again, it's just called a rim light. And it should look good. Uh, I'm excited. I'm still pumped after the bobcat. But I've got, it took me a little bit, but went through and uh, went ahead and changed all the batteries and everything. Um, all the wireless transmitters, the flashes. Um, and the camera and everything in here swapped out the memory card so we should be all good to go um, one thing I am going to do is I'm going to go over here behind me um, and try to set up a camera trap or excuse me a trail camera right over here because I want to see where they're actually accessing getting access to that side of the dam so that might be the next camera trap location um, that's related to the beaver dam um, it would be nice to know where they're coming from um, over here there's um, I've got a tree here that I could put one on I've got one over here uh, that I could point back towards the dam I don't know if they're because it's really shallow over there so the animals might be just kind of island hopping then getting to the dam then walking across I don't know so I'm curious to find out so I'm gonna put up another trail camera there I've got several so I'm gonna put at least two up in this location just to see where there might be a better opportunity for a camera trap there um, So just kind of quick show you I'm just going to kind of get down really low here so I got my camera set up it's really really low um, from the bottom of the camera to the top of the water it's probably about eight inches and to the bottom of the housing it's just a few inches so um, I just walked I just looked at the weather forecast and they're not calling for much rain this week there's always rain but it's not much so this should be good I've got a strap right here um, to kind of help just in case those screws fail down there but there's four of them in that aluminum ram mount so it should be good to go um, I got the trail camera mounted just above it a little higher perspective that way uh, any animals that go on the back side of the dam the island hop and then cross over the little ditch it'll document them and then over here this is what I consider my main light and it's on 1 8th power uh, zoomed in to about 35 because it's probably about eight nine feet away from the dam uh, it's the closest tree so that's my main light that's lighting up the subject and then I've got one right here if we can see it um, this one right here is lighting the face of the animal it's almost shining directly in the face of whatever animal walks across the dam I do that um, because if they happen to look off to the back side of the dam I don't want their face to fall in deep shadow I want to make sure there's detail there so that's why I've got that flash and then this is my sensor my sensor I've got it positioned I got these little doors here on the cam traptions sensor here um, as you can see I've got them positioned in a way that it'll only fire once the animal gets where I want them in the frame from this side but it'll fire much faster um, if they're coming from the right that way uh, I can get them as they're going across the dam and then if you can see it right behind this little log which is right there that is the actual third flash that's gonna be my rim light and I've got it positioned uh, it's on a, a very wide zoom so 
if the animal's right here or if he's over here, it should cast some light on the backside of him, creating some nice separation between them and the background. So I decided to put the trail camera over on this little tree that's about halfway to the beaver dam and I've got it pointed in the direction uh, that they cross on the other side. So when I come back in in the next, probably next week, I'll double check it and that way I can get a good idea of where they're actually accessing that side of the beaver dam at. Who knows, that could be another good camera trap in the future. All in all, everything went together really well. Um, you just have to be patient uh, and uh, like I said, I've got the batteries changed and everything. Um, we should be good to go. I am so excited to get home and to look at this bobcat photo. Uh, of course by now you've already seen it. But um, I am super pumped to get back, check it out. Um, bobcat photos come so rarely for me that I'm <laughs> another wall hanger. Uh, anytime I get a picture of a bobcat, even if it's mediocre, I want to print it. But I want to thank you guys so much for tagging along. I really appreciate all the good comments that I've been getting, messages and emails, people reaching out. I really appreciate it. Um, I do this stuff uh, anyway, and so it's nothing for me to bring the camera along and to bring you guys along with me and document the process. I'm out here anyway, so I've been doing this stuff since I was oh gosh maybe nine ten years old my granddad got me my first trail camera it was actually a 35 millimeter film camera that you put in the housing so i've been doing it for 20 years and i thoroughly enjoy it so um, i'm glad that you guys are enjoying it with me and um, if you're new here be sure to hit the subscribe button and um, let me know what you think in the comments below and just thank you so much um, until next week See ya.